good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the D Show. I'd like to thank before I start off, thank for a great gopher show for this video I'm getting ready to show. It was the week after the Democrats presented their case in the Senate, and it's hilarious. Because here we go, we're going to do it in three, two, one. They came, they saw, they spewed like clowns with dysentery, and the media slobbered like Hunter Biden in a strip club. <laughs> I thought Schiff's performance tonight was maybe his best. I thought it was dazzling. I thought the way he wove through historical <laughs> context was really remarkable. By most accounts, it was a virtuoso performance. Adam Schiff rocks. Okay, it is trending on social media. Yeah, but most dead people trend on Twitter, too. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. He would be to mock the media for their verbal drool. You'd be right. That was some verbal drool. But it's to be expected. Impeachment isn't meant for you or me. It's for the media's emotional gratification. The networks, they're like t-shirt cannons. And the Democrats are printing the shirts all with the I word on them. Shooting them out at you. But if there's just one takeaway, it would be this. The president's misconduct cannot be decided at the ballot box. <laughs> for we cannot be assured that the vote will be fairly won. Holy crap, he told the truth. <laughs> it's not about relitigating 2016, but preventing a Trump win in 2020. So rather than take the field, they're calling it a bomb threat to cancel the game. And like every sin that they pin on Trump, it's always something that will happen in the future, but never does. Anywho, the whole thing was screamingly dull. If only we could make it more interesting. Solicitation itself, just the ask, constitutes an abuse of power. <laughs> went true. In order to secure his favor from Ukraine, he withheld two of the <laughs> First, he withheld the release of three hundred million dollars in military assistance for Trump created oh, by Congress on people. a bipartisan basis, which Ukraine needed to fight Russian aggression. And second, President Trump withheld a long sought after White House meeting. That made it a lot better. <laughs> now we could just get Schiff to cut loose. Uh oh, here we go. Here, out of shift. That's a good party, huh? Can't believe Mike's turning 50. Yes. What a good turn. <laughs> Man, do you want to cut loose? Yes. I'll prove it. He cut loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. So the media, the media loves impeachment because it allows them an escape from their own self-reflection. Remember the giant gun rights rally in Virginia? Here's mm -hmm. how the media uh, Oh, this is funny. Day of emergency. Richmond, Virginia on high alert this morning, bracing for violence as thousands descend for a gun rights rally. This is the scene in Richmond. Our militia, white nationalist groups from all over the country. There are fears there could be violence, uh, particularly from white extremists. On edge and on alert, police in Virginia. Come on. Today, amid fears it will attract white supremacists and turn violent. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what happened? Cal, how's it gone so far? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all good. But with impeachment, the media is able to get away with another giant smear against an entire group of people. And it's a smear like all the others from Kavanaugh to Covington that tells you why you can't trust them. Mm-hmm. 
to it protects so many dolts from good news. Trump just signed a climate deal committing to plant a trillion trees. That's more wood than a Home Depot on Viagra. <laughs> Stock market, it's higher than Lil Wayne smoking a joint made of Seth Rogen's hair. <laughs> So we have this knucklehead Adam Schiffy Schiff and the Democrats and the drive by meeting acting like fools. They're trying to stop this president from winning the election. Yes, they're trying to do that, but they're more than ever. Trump people that vote for Trump are gonna vote again for Trump. And the Democrats that did not vote are going to vote for Trump. And the independents that did not vote at all are going to vote for Trump. I'm telling you this for a fact. Donald Trump is going to win this election in 2020 in the biggest landslide of history. And how would the drive by media act up after that? We shall see. If you, don't, if you agree with this video, put a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, put the comments down there if you have comments, I talk about everything and anything. Alright, I gotta go because I gotta clean up my apartment. <laughs> Please do not drink and drive and do not hate around the knuckleheads who do. I'm out.